Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 14. Let's get started. Today, we will be learning how to use models to represent skip counting. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. We will use math in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can draw and label a tape diagram to represent a multiplication problem. Draw a tape diagram to solve the multiplication equation. Remember, a tape diagram is the same as a bar diagram. It's a math model that uses boxes to represent the number of groups. Okay, so the multiplication is 10 times four. That's the expression. We don't know the product. We do know how many groups. That's the first number, right? 10 groups of four. We know how many are in each group, four. So we can draw 10 rows of four. We can count by fours times 10 to find how many in all. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. We can put the, the array in groups of four, 10 groups of four. It would look like this. There's one group, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 groups with four in each group. Now we have 10 boxes with four in each box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How many of each group is four? We're not trying to find out the product, how many in all. And we found by counting by fours 10 times that 10 times four equals 40. So that label at the top should be a 4. The label at the bottom should be a 40, and we know that there are 10 groups of 4. Let's draw a tape diagram to solve the multiplication equation. 7 times 4 equals 12. Equals question mark, sorry. So let's count by 4 7 times. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Now we're going to put boxes around groups of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Seven groups of four. We want to know how many in all. So we would have seven boxes. We would have four in each box. And we counted by fours seven times. And we reached 28. So seven times four equals 28. Let's use that skill in a read, draw, write question. We're going to read the question first. Then we're going to draw it out and use a math model to solve. And finally, we're going to write a nice juicy answer using words to explain what our answer is and how we arrived at that answer. So while I read this one aloud to you, you can get a pencil and paper, or you can pause the video if you need time, that's fine too. You could get a dry erase board, or I'm gonna show you how to use a Google Jamboard, which is a virtual tool that you can use online if you have access to Google. So I'm going to choose a pen so that I can mark up the question or annotate it, picking out the most important information as I read. Adam's teacher gives him four points for each question he answers correctly on a test. Well, in math, the numbers are always very important. Four points for each question. He answers correctly. 
He answers nine questions correctly. Okay, nine correct. He gets four points for each question that's answered correctly, and he answered nine. Okay. How many points does Adam earn? So I want to know how many in all. Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. Okay. So I'm going to go to my Google Jamboard, and if you want to do this too, you can go to your browser and type in jamboard.google.com. If you need the link, it's in the description box below. I'm clicking on the plus sign to open a new clean Jamboard. I'm selecting my pen tool, and I can choose whichever color I'd like. I'm going to use green today. And I want to look back at my question so that I can make sure that I use the precise information. Adam's teacher gives him four points for each question. He answers nine correctly. How many points does he earn in all? So that's my unknown. The unknown is how many in all. I know there are nine questions, so that's nine groups. And he gets four points for each question. So that's four in each box. I'm drawing a and labeling a tape diagram to solve. Okay, so I'm going to say how many in all is a big question mark, right? How many in all? So I have a tape diagram and I have nine questions with four points for each question. So I'm gonna make nine boxes and they don't have to look equal we just need to know that they are equal one two three four five six seven eight i'm just going to draw another box over here nine all right so that means i have to erase my bracket and make sure that it goes all the way to the end okay so nine questions each question is worth four points And I'm going to make sure I have a label for each box so I know what that represents. So each question. All right, I'm gonna go back to the question and make sure I've got the correct information. Four points for each question, nine questions, and I'm supposed to draw and label a tape diagram, which I've done. So now I'm ready to answer the question, how many points does Adam earn? Okay, so I have four for each one, and I have nine groups. So I can make this a multiplication equation nine groups of four equals question mark. So if I know my nines or my fours, I can find the answer to that very quickly. But what if I don't know my nines or fours? We learned another strategy to help us because I know my tens, right? 10 times four, equals 40 because we always say four times one is four and then we just add the zero that's the that's the rule of multiplying by 10 you just add it put the number that you're multiplying it by and add a zero at the end so 10 times 4 is 40. all right so if i take away one that's going to give me nine fours right and that should tell me my product well, one times four is four. So I can take 40 minus four and that'll give me my product. What's 40 minus four? Well, we could stack it and do all of this where we can't take four from zero, so we have to borrow. That's not really necessary. We're only taking away four, so why don't we just count backwards from 40 four times? 
40, 39, 38, 37, 36. That's our answer. 36. So 9 times 4 is 36. Adam gets 36 points in all. That's our answer. Let's look back at the question to make sure we can answer this correctly. The question is, how many points does Adam earn? I want to use words from the question to put in my answer. Adam earns 36 points. Adam earns 36 points. I know this because 9 times 4 equals 36. Or I could also say I multiplied 10 times 4, subtracted 1 times 4 and got 9 times 4. 40 minus 4 equals 36. So that's a nice juicy answer to the question. I explained what the answer was, how I know, and how I arrived at that solution. So now I've written my answer. I've checked the question to make sure that I have what I need. It said I need a tape diagram. I have that. So I think I'm set. I can go ahead and check my answer now. Let's see. Answer. Adam earns 36 points because 4 times 9 equals 36. Okay, so I got the correct answer. Did I word it exactly how the answer is in the answer key? No, that doesn't matter. All I'm asking you to do is your very best. Answer the question to your very best ability. Okay, so now it's your turn to try it on your own. After I'm done speaking, you're going to pause the video on this frame. You're going to reread the question, annotate it. That means write down any most important information that you see, or if you want to do it online, you can do that. You're going to read the question, answer it using your best sentences. Make sure that you include any specific math models that the question is asking for. You're going to use the read, draw, write process. Okay, Mrs. Tyson has four boxes of markers. Each box has eight markers inside. How many markers does Mrs. Tyson have altogether? Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. Now it's your turn. Go do your very best, and I will see you in the next video.